Hey what is up guys, I'm Linux here and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. So as you can all see, I am going to be teaching you all how to make fire effects in Godot using Godot's particle system. So yeah, as you can see, we have pretty good looking fire here, we've even got some smoke with it as well. All it takes is two particle systems. And uh, yeah, it's very simple to do. This only took me a couple minutes to make. This is just a small example that I made before, before recording this. So if you guys do learn something from this video and you do enjoy, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more. Also, just recently I released a new Christmas horror game called South of North, if you want to go check that out. Uh, it is free on itch.io for Windows PCs. So yeah, uh, let's now get into this tutorial. So as I just said, I'm going to be showing you all how to make a fire particle system today. So let's get right to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scene. And it is going to be a 3D scene. I'm just going to call this fire, well, fire particles. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click onto our main node here. We're going to go add child node. And you want to search up GPU and then get GPU particles 3D. Now there are also CPU particles, but I prefer to use GPU particles. All right, so once you have your particle system in the scene, here's what we're gonna do. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down to where it says draw passes. So yeah, make sure that you have your GPU particles 3D selected first, and then uh, go down to draw passes here. And then where it says pass one, select where it says empty, and then select new quad mesh. So now we have a new quad mesh. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to process material and then you want to uh, just click on empty again, go new particle process material and boom. Now as you can see your quad mesh will just be going down in a straight line Oh, and by the way, if you can't see your quad mesh, that's probably because you're facing backwards. Make sure that you're, you know, facing uh, the, direc the direction the quad mesh is facing, since they only have, you know, one face after all. And so anyways, uh, what we're going to do now is we are now going to add a new material. So go down to where it says Geometry, and then where it says Material Override, select Empty, go New Standard Material 3D, good now we have a new material so you just want to click onto this and now we're going to make some edits to the material so first off where it says albedo just click on this go texture and now what I recommend you do is you add like a smoke texture either one that you make or one that you might find online uh, I do recommend that it's transparent as well so make sure it's a, a PNG not a JPEG so I'm just going to search up smoke so as you can see here I've got an image called gun smoke and here it is so uh, yeah, right now it's got a black background behind it, but how we get rid of that is you just want to go to where it says transparency in your material, and then where it says disable, just set it to alpha, and boom, now we have a transparent gun smoke. So yeah, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go down to where it says billboard, so just scroll down to where it says billboard, and then set that to enabled. And what that does is that makes sure that our... Uh, that our material is constantly facing us. So now the quad meshes, instead of only facing one way, they're constantly always facing us. So no matter what direction we're in, yeah, the fire is just always going to be in the correct direction. So what we're going to do now is where it says emission, just go down here, click on enabled, and then with the emission color, I, I recommend making this something either yellow or orange, you know, just a fire color, of course. So now what we're going to do is we're going to basically make this look like fire. So I'm going to do something that's, you know, pretty orange, yellow kind of thing, you know. Something like this, I guess, makes sense. I'll do something like that for now. And then what you want to do is I do recommend turning up the energy multiplier because it does make things look brighter like as you can see if I turn up the energy multiplier to 2 there's a bit of an orange glow around it now or if I turn it up to 5 there's an even you know there's even more of a glow so depending on what you set your energy multiplier to that's going to basically you know set the glow around the uh, around the particles 
So I'm going to set mine to 2 since that's what I had my uh, example one set to. And also be sure to save as well, so make sure you press Control S and be sure to save your fire particles as well in like a scenes folder or something like that. Since, you know, if your PC crashes or your project crashes, you don't want to go losing everything. Alrighty, so we've pretty much got the look of our fire set up. As you can see, we've got our, uh, our texture here, which pretty much looks like fire now. So what we're going to do now, now that we're done with setting up the material here, is we're actually going to work on the proper uh, particle system itself. So with our uh, process material that we made earlier, you want to click on this, and then as you can see we have some uh, drop-down menus. So what we want to do first is you want to go down to where it says accelerations, gravity, and we're going to set this to something like 2. There we go. And also, um, if you want your uh, fire particles to last longer as well, you can just change the lifetime of them in the time section. So if you want them to last for like 2 seconds, for example, you can do that. Although I think that's a bit big. I think 1's perfectly fine for me. But uh, yeah, I can totally understand if you guys, you know, want more time or whatever. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to set the colour of the fire. And you might be thinking to yourself, but wait, haven't we already set the colour? And yes, we have, but what we need to do is we need to set a color ramp in order to make the fire look smoother. Because right now, as you can see, uh, with these fire particles, right, I'll turn up the lifetime just so you can see it a bit better. But as you can see with these fire particles, right, when they reach a certain point, they just disappear. You know, it's not like they just slowly fade out like how normal fire, like how normal fire particles would in real life. Like, no, they just disappear just like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so then uh, these fire particles not only fade out, but they also fade in as well. So yeah, here's what we're going to do. So what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says display and then color curves. And then go to color ramp, uh, select on empty, then go new gradient texture 1D. So now we just want to go into this. Boom. So what you want to do here is you want to select on the first color and then you want to turn down the transparency value. Now I just realized that there's something which we actually forgot to do with our uh, regular material. So with your material, so go back down to your fire material itself and where it says vertex color, go use as albedo and boom. So now what this option does here, uses albedo, is this basically allows our particle process material to apply this color curve here to the actual, uh, you know, color of our, uh, of our uh, fire. So yeah, so that's what that does. So yeah, you want to make sure that the uh, first color here is completely transparent. And then what you want to do is with this uh, end one here, you want to just drag this out to the middle because that's going to be like uh, where most of the color is on our fire. And then <clears throat> you just want to click on the color curve again to create like a new color. And then we'll drag this towards the end. And then you want to double click and then make this transparent, the ending color. And boom. So now as you can see, oh, so now as you can see, the particles now fade in and out. So instead of just disappearing, now there's actually a fade out. And there's also a fade in as well as you can see here, but yeah. So what I am going to do is I am going to make um, the uh, emission bit brighter for my fire since I do feel like it's not really as bright as it could be. I'm just going to, you know, mess around with it. But yeah, you guys can feel free to mess around with your fire if you want to as well. Try to get the best look and color possible. There we go. So yeah, so this is our fire so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back down the uh, the lifetime to 1. I just wanted to turn it up to 3 just to show an example. Alright, so as you can see, we now have our fire here so far. So there are a few more things for us to do, of course. So what you want to do now is where it says spawn, you want to click on this and then go position. And then where it says emission shape, you want to select this to sphere. And boom. So now after doing that, uh, set the emission shape scale to 0.2 on all the uh, axis. So on the X, Y, and Z. 
and boom now as you can see this just looks like a much more realistic looking fire now now that we've just uh, set that emission shape there so yeah uh, so far this is looking really really good and I would argue that we're pretty much done with the main fire I mean it looks pretty good just like the example I made before and yeah Alright, so now that we're pretty much done with the main bulk of the fire, we can now move on to the smoke. So what you want to do for the smoke is you want to grab your GPU particles 3D in your hierarchy, and you just want to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. So now we have two particle systems. So now with your second one selected, what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says Geometry Material Override. So here we have our fire material, and you want to right click on it. And you want to go click make unique so then it is separate from the fire material because if we were to make any edits to this uh, material even though it's on a different object it's still going to change our main particle system material as well so i mean our main fire uh, material as well not the particle system uh, process material so um anyways uh now that we've set that to unique what we can do is we can just uh, click on it to go into the drop down menu and then uh with the al and then with the emission you want to just turn off the emission boom and then uh with the albedo we can turn uh down the color to something a bit more darker like smoke and now as you can see uh now we have some smoke as well and you might be thinking to yourself but wait it looks weird um why is the uh the smoke and the fire clipping between each other and that's because they're pretty much in the same position and yeah it's gonna look weird but what we're gonna do is you can just simply go to your smoke and set the render priority to something lower than the render priority of your fire of your uh, fire particle system so we can set the render priority on the material of our smoke here to negative one and boom now the smoke is always going to be behind the fire so what we can do now is we can uh, set the time of the fire to something a bit higher just so then we can see the smoke coming out from underneath and boom as you can see now this looks like a proper fire with smoke coming out and so yeah guys that's pretty much how you make fire like some good fire in Godot so if you did enjoy this tutorial be sure to like comment and subscribe for more as you can see we have our fire particles with the smoke particles as well, and I think it looks pretty good. I think the colouring I did for the uh, example is a bit better, but you guys can, uh, you know, mess around with the colouring, of course, and try get it as good as you want to. But yeah, so overall, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something from it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, see you all next time. Bye-bye. Before I do go, actually, I want to try get this colour looking better. Hold on. So if I go to a mission, let's see, can we try set the color better? Yeah, I think we could. There we go. I think that looks better. Does it look closer to my example? A bit. But it looks better. Alright, now, for real, goodbye.